Uh, morning, my name's Alexander. And if technology will work as I want, perfect. Uh, well, quick word to myself, I'm Alexander Trost, uh, working as a DevOps engineer at Cloudical uh, here in Berlin. Uh, I'm a maintainer of the Rook project. Um, for people that don't know what Rook is, it's about storage in containers, in Kubernetes, cool thing. Um, yeah. So uh, when we think about network, um, well, why does it even matter for well something like Go days? Um, you write those cool applications in Go in whatever language, and you put them out in production, and they don't perform. Well, that no, that's not always the case, but to most customers, at least I'm called, like, yeah, the network's not running right, and oh, everything's slow, and well, so we have a network, which, um, if you think about it, well, I hope I didn't scare anyone, but, you know, kind of like with spider webs, do I think for some companies, uh, <laughs> at least from what, the, what it is state is, um, the spider web looks better and probably <laughs> performs in the task better than the company network. Um, so, well, <laughs> some corporate networks may look like this. Um, not too good, so, um, well. So, internet and all network and stuff, we, it's, well, a series of tubes. Your tubes, as we had it two pictures before, your uh, internet or network may look like Ah, that just hurts looking at it, sorry guys. <laughs> um, the point of the, um, all the cables, uh, well, mixed up with each other there, is in the end that it's kind of a battlefield there, if you think about it. And, well, we're not talking about, well, actual <laughs> battlefield, but for the network team in your company, that's the battlefield. Because everybody around them is like, hey guys, can you add this VLAN? Can you do this? Can you change this port? I got five new cells. What about them? Give me IPs or something. That means we have the situation. Everyone around you, well, for the network team's perspective, wants you to change stuff at the network. But have you ever, <laughs> a company with a network which is down, that's quite a lot of money most of the time. That's going to be lost when the network's completely down. And so you want to change something, but it has to be up 100%. So we're like, that's not going to work. Um, so that's kind of the point where, uh, like with the ancient uh, testing uh, tool, um, it's, not, it's not like a new iPad for something. It's just trying to use the normal tools we have already, like IPATH and so on, but utilize them kind of as a wrapper. Um, so, uh, well, ancient is the wrapper part there. It takes those tools when you got some issues, like, well, performance or latency, whatever issues, and it's trying to make it easier for you that you can run, like, the IPATH test from, let's say you have a Kubernetes cluster or OpenShift or even some nodes wh which you can access by Ansible. You create a test definitions file. It's, well, in YAML, um, where you define how the tests should look. If IPERF should run for 10 seconds, if it should run for 30 seconds, or how, um, how granular you want IPERF to report the data from interval perspective. And like you can control certain aspects to say just summarize it with that. So, Ancient right now only has IPERF, but in the end, the goal would be to uh, have other tools implemented as well, and also have an easy way uh, to manage to run them in such a test definitions file. I'm going to show that in a, well, if you have some results about like where on which node the network is better or something, you can look into it or just tweak your network. Um, I hope it's good enough for you in the back. Main point being, as I said, you have a YAML file, you say which host it should target. You say how you like your output. You could go and say, well, give me CSV output or even other uh, output formats, which I'm going into in a bit. Um, and that's, that would, for example, run 
a IPerf test from every node in your Kubernetes cluster to every other node. So it's basically a complete cross test between everything to everything. And well, that will definitely take some time depending on how many nodes you have. Um, but those end results can often lead to discoveries um, for even working clusters um, that there are some performance problems. So, well, it's easy to test on the p a point. When you run the tool, it's not just, well, I'm going to run the IPerf now. It's like, oh, well, that's my plan. What do you think? And then you can even, well, you can skip that as, as with apt-get install something. You can just do minus w, uh, not w, minus uh, y, and it will just uh, keep on running. Point is, it will just tell you, hey, man, I would run this. Are you fine with that? And then it will begin running. And in the end, well, CSV, <laughs> well, <laughs> CSV, universal, so. <laughs> um, you, get, you get the results, as I said, not only in CSV or something. SQL Lite, MySQL, Excel. I'm, I'm proudest on the Excel part there. Yes, um, <coughs> for some customers, when you're there, and they go like, yeah, the network's bad and stuff, and like, yeah, give us some info. And like, yeah, well, we still need to completely look into it. And you can just throw the management like <laughs> those huge Excel tables and say, hey, well, here, here's some info, have fun. It's like, you kind of bought yourself some time there, depending on the management slash, well, customer there. Um, so, well. <laughs> um, I'm currently working on having uh, Ancient even draw the graphs for you. This is not yet such a graph. Um, it still has its quirks, which I need to work out, but point being, you got some CSV, SQLite or something data, um, which, well, you can use to easily um, draw a graph or something from it. Um, as I already said, like for ancient, we uh, we would like to have like more tools implemented and such, and like more features. Um, I've heard from some people, uh, which I presented uh, ancient as a tool to. Um, of like, ah, well, sounds cool and all, but I need to run it manually. What about a Prometheus integration? Those are, well, on the other hand, some points where it's like, yeah, let's run iPerf every 10 seconds when Prometheus scrapes. Ah, well, might not be the best uh, thing to do on your production cluster, but, um, well, something like that maybe. I don't know. Le it's basically still co like completely up for this uh, discussion. Like I can really imagine people wanting to run iPerf all the time or something, <coughs> or something. But um, it doesn't seem too viable to just well flood the network all the time when you have some production applications running in the same cluster. So, um, well, as mentioned, um, we had just to kind of round up the package with iPerf right now. To like sm uh, smoke ping or other like well, other pinging tools. Um, well, we're still working on that. It's right now, I said it's only iperf. It's well with iperf three. I have to uh, be honest here. I think was the m most easiest to implement because iperf can return JSON to you, and everything else till now, which I saw, was returning text output and. Let's pass through the text. Yes. J Jason makes it a bit easier there. So, but I hope we are going to be able to at least implement two more tools this year and make life easier for, well, kind of troubleshooting uh, problems like that in Kubernetes, even OpenShift, like it's, you know, doesn't matter there. Uh, and as it like with Ansible, um, as long as there's iperf on the machine, um, you can also just uh, use the Ansible runner, as it's called, uh, from um, uh, no, from um, how we named it in the project. Um, so, well, there's obviously, I said, more also than those things, like Prometheus integration sounds great, but um, Make it, uh, making it a bit more into like, um, well, 
how should I put it? Uh, who has used Cube ADM? Is to install a cluster or something, maybe? Uh, uh, well, um, let me put it like this. You have Cube ADM as a command to set up a node for Kubernetes. Not in regards to like installing packages or something, but generating certificates and configs like that. That's great, it's a cool tool. But if you want to customize it, then it's maybe getting a bit complicated, but what Cube ADM is doing, it's allowing you to even just run one step at a time through the command interface in the end. So the idea maybe for the end for Ancient as well is like, well, just get me the results in raw so that it can later maybe then even in parallel process uh, all the results as at once. And uh, yeah, so yeah. Um, be sure to check it out. It's on GitHub, it's free, use it. it <laughs> well, if you have network problems, I hope you don't, but um, most customers where we run it, it's really, as I said, like with the kind of, also what I mentioned, the buying time aspect there. Um, it, it's in the end, simply easier to get like a CSV or even an Excel file uh, than <laughs> Then uh, giving the management like a iperf log text output. So, um, yeah. Feel free to check it out if you have questions, if you have any issues, feel free to open a, uh, an issue. And for anyone that's taking a look at the documentation, well, I know there's room for improvement. We're, <laughs> we're soon going to have uh, a workshop internally. Uh, because we are like, as it's like seeing us as a general like network checking tool basically, and um, with that aspect, the people that we have in the company trying to show them what the tool is, and because they don't know the tool, like that's I think for some people that m uh, may also have some projects like that, um, the problem because you know how it goes, you know where it breaks or where it doesn't break, so it's a bit hard for you maybe to write the documentation because you uh, well I know it so. Why should I write it down or something? Well, not in that full aspect, but yeah. So feel free to check it out. And yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Go wrong. Oh, and well, mm. which company isn't hiring? Am I right? Well, if you want to work on a cool project like maybe uh, Ancient or even Rook, feel free to talk to us at the booth we have. And well, Questions? For load test? Yeah, no, uh, for performance testing. You um, download files, you send uh, gRPC or something. Like uh, well, in. Uh, in oh, exactly. Exactly. Mm? Tests are running. Um, well, in regards to ancient, uh, it's just iperf while doing its job. But for general load testing or something, um, tools like Lotus, I think it, Lo Lotus, Locust, I think it was called, mm. um, seems, I think I tried it once or twice, ha hadn't had the time to, well, there's so many tools out there for that. Um, and I think there was Siege for just a general, like, punching against the web server to see how it goes, uh, type testing. Um, there's, there's definitely a few more tools. That just can't remember the na uh, their names right now. And uh, one more question. Mm -hmm. uh, is there any uh, rolling uh, strategy for testing? Uh, I don't want my cluster just to go away. Um, well, in regards to, um, to when you run Ancient right now, it's really just a one-off. It will run all the defined tests on a host, and then it's done. Oh. Uh, you can have certain delays between those iper fronts, for example, right now. Mm, I mean, um, you can uh, different uh, nodes uh, uh, that don't uh, test each other in uh, one moment. Maybe um, uh, uh, one node test uh, one you can delay, and so. Yeah, you can uh, set a, well, basically execution policy uh, to, well, if you want everything to happen at once parallel. Um, 
but the default uh, is uh, sequen uh, sequen sequential, uh, that it will only run one test at a time. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Hello, uh, thank you for the talk. I was wondering, uh, you said you want to implement new features, and I was wondering when does it stop, so uh, what is the scope of Ancient, and is there like, is it uh, is the plan to just uh, focus on network I issues, or is there plan more? Or yeah, um, the general focus right now is on network-specific tools like IPerf, which already uh, which is already implemented, and like tools like Smokeping. Um, but I've already thought about like it getting a bit higher from the stack to level seven, kind of with Siege or something to. Um, well, kind of have like a whole bundle. Uh, in the end, it's well. The, the end goal is to be able to easily run the tools quick on a lot of machines, and to easily have those results available for use. So, in the end, as long as the tool works with it, I think it's more like a <laughs> implementation limit. When how many packages can we include in a GoLang binary till it blows up or something? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Okay, then thanks for the questions. Um. <laughs>